Getting on. Um, just heading out for another herb trip this morning. Just on my way to pick up Gus and then we're gonna pick up Odin because I'm basically a herb uber. Um, these kids gotta get their driver's licenses before they can actually do anything. But girl, just to give you an idea of where we're herping now, this sort of flat grassland with all these rocks, which is generally home to all the rain frogs as well as all those short-sided grass snakes. There's a few trees down there in the distance, hopefully I can't see if we can't turn any bones thing up. There's Gus and Odin talking about their tactics and there's Gus with his finger for all of you who asked last time what happened to his finger. Show me your finger Gus so these people don't ask me every time. Yeah, there's Gus's little accidental mishap with a puff at her, but it's looking pretty sharp. Uh, gives him more dexterity, but yeah, it's sharp. <laughs> Cool, we just got to the first spot and Odin's already destroyed the biggest rocks in the world. But we just tore. Odin just flipped a little brevy sips. Bushfeld rain frog. If I can get him out of here. He looks about as sad as I feel waking up this early on a Saturday morning. Oh, that's actually terrible light, but put him there. And he's just gonna flop around doing brevy sips things. He's actually in a field of yeah, he's in a field of ants. Switch off biting me all over my arms, so we're gonna get out of here. Cool, we just saw a, a big snake go into this pipe, so we're just gonna excavate it quickly. I've just set up the tripod so we can have all hands on deck to try to see if we can find whatever was in here let's go it's like a big female but it looked dark <clears throat> yeah i think just try to cover that pipe wait wait don't pull that up yet we need to we need to tip the pipe so like that part of the pipe must go into the ground almost you know oh, dude it's going deep we'll get it out yeah we will that's cool because you know it'll be in there if it's deep <clears throat> then i think what we need to do is how deep is that pipe it's fucking deep Oh, what is that? Dude! Oh, no wonder he went to this park. Yo, he digs it in there. It's called Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how deep this can go. Is it still going? Yeah. Let's see how much damage we can get. Yeah, yeah. Can. Oh, um, Even if we break it and then... Okay, wait, wait. Let me, oh, I'm going to pull the pipe out. It's deformed, it's deformed. Check. Pull it back. Yeah. I'm going to pull the pipe out. Just Sorry, bring the eggs to the bag. Something's going to... Got him. A massive drop out of No way. <gasps> and it's... <gasps> fuck, it's just out of that. Dude, let's go. Check that out. So, <laughs> we got this big short-sided <laughs> grass snake. That's so sick. It's got a pretty large food bolus in here. It looks. It looks yeah, probably a rat or something. Um, yeah, it was just inside this trash pile. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty sick first snake of the day. Um, we're going to just grab a couple of photos of it, and we'll we'll cover his pipe back in the ground, and we'll put him back in here. So at least he's got somewhere to live again. But yeah, super nice. You can see it's barely got any patterns on it um, whatsoever. So a nice bit of teamwork and we got a really nice snake early in the morning. Sick. Have a look at this. This is just a Kwazulu dwarf chameleon that we just turned up um, some this little branch here. Um, looks like a gravid female. She's quite dark. So I'm not really going to disturb her or mess around with her too much. Um, just get a little bit of video footage to show you guys. Um, but yeah, she's obviously just flattening herself out here and just basking. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's always a pleasure to see chameleons and I'll never pass up an opportunity to put them in the videos. But yeah, this is the Kwazuli Dwarf Chameleon. And I just honestly can't get a good shot at her because she's being a bit derpy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I can see she's really thick towards the mid body there. And yeah, I'm not going to stress her out too much. I'm just going to leave her right here and we're going to carry on. Just put these two little pieces of concrete, there's a little snake eyed skink. Tiny little dude, although they don't get very big, so not that tiny. Shame he's freezing. Um, I guess I flipped another one there. Just tap him there, guys. I just want to see him 
run away. He will make just flip and put the concrete back. Without squishing our little boy. Awesome. A couple of herps in between the snakes. Here's just a better look at one of the little snake eyed skinks that we turned up. This guy's got a little bit of a regenerated tail, but you can just see if he will sit still for a second. Um, really good little skinks. I'm just gonna let him run off on his way. And now, then yeah, he's just gonna probably go right back under his little rock. See ya. Cool. So I just flipped a little, another little braviceps, another little bushveld rain frog. Just in this, I'm just gonna put him here real quickly um, because I see Odin flipped another one. And there's another bushfold rain frog. And apparently, there's another bushfold rain frog. Watch the arrow, watch the arrow, dude. Oh, <laughs> wow, I didn't even see that. So, there's another bushfold rain frog. And there's a decent sized herald. Whoa, there's quite a decent sized one. Yeah, with all the prey as well. Um, I don't know why he's hanging out, chilling here with the rain frogs when he should be eating them. Um, but that's cool. Nice decent size herald right after we got that short sided grass snake. Give you a better look at this dude. Hopefully he doesn't bite me, but he's pretty cold. Yeah, his head's all clogged up with spider webs. But yeah, nice. Got your bag. Second second snake of the trip. Mine's full. Here's just a close up look at that herald we got earlier. And you can see these guys are quite dark in comparison to ones that I've been showing you guys in the Western Cape. Still got that black iridescent shine on the head with that bright orange lip um, compared to the ones I've been seeing with the yellows and a bit of pale white. But yeah, really nice looking specimen. Quite a decent size that we flipped next to all the rain frogs. A couple of white speckles throughout the body. Um, but yeah, nice. Decent looking herald. Gonna bring a couple of picks and then of course we'll just let him go back in his little rock pile. So I was just trying to get uh, in-hand video of the Herald and then it just decided to absolutely destroy my hand. Um, it looks a heck of a lot worse than it is, but it's really not not too bad. They just bleed a lot for some reason, but that's what happens. If you want to play with things, you get bitten sometimes. So I just flipped this, but I'll just re-flip it to show you guys. We got a couple more um, braviceps of the, uh, this is just the bushrod rain frogs. Um, I'm actually not going to disturb the other one, the other one is just sitting in there. But cool, I'm just going to move this guy, put his rock back and we are going to carry on. You can see unfortunately, as soon as, as soon as I touched him, he got a lot of that bufo toxin just leaking out of him. So just going to put him back gently and let's just flip this little bubbling casino, um, which these guys aren't all that interested in him, in him but I'm pretty stoked to see it. Let's just give him a little good look. Yeah, these guys are really cool. Um, obviously, I haven't seen these since I've been down in the Cape. But going to snap a few photos of this dude and just put him back under his rock. And this is just one of the bubbling casinos that we picked up earlier. They call them bubbling casinos. They make these sort of ridiculously loud... It sounds like water dropping into sort of a puddle, uh, puddle or, a, or a bath, I should say. Um, they're pretty small. Um, you can see this guy's only about as big as my thumb. And just for anyone asking what happened to my hand, that was from a very ungrateful herald snake that decided to give me a little parting gift before I let him go. Um, but yeah, these little guys are really interesting as well because they can't actually jump or hop like normal frogs. They actually run. They also call them running frogs and see if I can just get him to move. But now when you... Oh, and he just sort of hopped off there and usually they don't jump at all so there goes that cool check this out we got odin picked up this little juvenile boom slung i would say a hatchling but it's a little bit bigger than a hatchling light is quite bad but you can see it's got a nice emerald green eye with the yellow coloration on the neck um, and most of the body is brown once they get around a meter or so they become either green um, with sort of black edging on the scales, which are typically males, but not always. And the females are brownish, gray. And yeah, pretty, it's obviously one of the most venomous snakes in Africa, um, drop for drop, obviously not the most dangerous. They 
pretty relaxed snakes. You can see, if I give you some reference, this snake is actually really small in reference to my hand there. Yeah, nice little worm song. Um, hopefully you're gonna see what else we can turn up. Just gonna leave this guy here and he can do his thing. Just flipped over this little rock. Um, we've got a double flip of braviceps. Just gonna move them. Just gonna move them so we can put their rock back. Oh wow, there's three braviceps in here. Oh wait, I lie. There's four braviceps under this rock. There's basically a whole family. Okay, have a look at these guys. <laughs> That's wild. I, I saw the first two. I didn't see all of them. But yeah, rain frogs are really cool. This has obviously had a little bit of rain, so the soil is quite soft. So the guys are just digging in there. Um, as I said before, it's quite interesting that they don't have a tadpole phase. Um, female typically lays the eggs in a little burrow. Um, and they just turn into sort of tadpoles. Well, go straight into small little froglets relatively soon after. Awesome. Just going to flip the rock back and put these guys back. This is another look at two other bushfield rain frogs. Sorry, these guys are chatting in the background. But yeah, I'm just gonna shoot a quick couple of photos of these guys and then just let them go. But the rocks were embedded kind of like this. So Odin just found this absolute massive short-sided grass snake. This thing is huge and I'm just holding it loosely by the head like that so it doesn't destroy me. But have a look at this thing, it's an absolute beast. I mean, it's got virtually no patterns. It's got a bit of the strap down the spine. But I mean, this thing is absolutely huge. It's probably about 125 centimeters, which is absolutely massive for them. But if you have a look at the girth, I'm not gonna be like one of those people saying as it's thick as my arm, because it's definitely not. But I mean, have a look at how girthy this thing is. It's an absolute beast. Let's see if he chills. Oh, there he goes. It's a better look at that absolute unit of a short-sided grass snake that Odin found missioning through the grass. I think it's close to shed. I mean, it's looking pretty dull. It actually looks quite horrible, to be honest. Um, we try to give it a rough measurement. I think it's about 125 centimeters. I'll have to confirm a little bit later, but he's quite a beast. He's just out here on these hillsides, just eating all the spitting cobras and any other snakes that you can find because literally we haven't seen a single other snake on this hill besides him. There's the diffuser gang just trying to get their picky picks. Yeah, I can't even fight and try to test and get photos when these guys are around because they just steal all the poses and all the good light. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some good picks. I've got more than enough space here. And you can see what else you're going to get after. Oh, we want some greenery, don't you? I just fl flipped two more of these little sad boys. Um, just put them in the hand so I can put the rock down. And then I can just track them back under the rock here. Go forth, brethrens. This is probably going to be the last herp of the day. This is just a little variable skink. Um, we've been seeing loads of these today. They just generally, this unfortunately has a, he's lost his tail. So it's obviously a little regrowing tail. Um, we've been seeing loads of these today. They're just lightning fast. The moment you flip a rock or walk, you just see them dash, dash around, and you don't often catch them. So I just got hands on this one. Unfortunately, not a amazingly looking specimen with that rigor and tail, but nice to see them in hand either way. Snap a few picks, and I'll just let him go. Okay, can just go back under his rock over here. Oh, he didn't want to go. Cool, so that's going to be pretty much it for the day. Um, for the last maybe hour or so, my phone actually died i was recording the inside of my pocket for it seems about 45 minutes so my battery totally died bit of a bummer but we just saw a few more rain frogs um one or two other little insignificant snakes but yeah i had a pretty good day out um besides getting my finger annihilated by that herald snake good to hang out and catch up with odin and gus again but for now thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you next time with